A man pretended to accidentally spill drinks all over a wealthy man. During the apology, he casually placed his head on the rich guy's car keys. While helping the wealthy man wipe off the mess, he discreetly swiped his wallet. Swiftly got up. Ed, with his left hand, took the credit card. With his other hand, he intentionally knocked the rich man's phone to the ground. The rich man quickly bent down to pick up his phone, and in the meantime, the con artist smoothly pocketed the credit card. When the rich man carefully inspected his phone, the hustler quietly returned the wallet to his pocket. The perplexed wealthy man, oblivious to the missing credit card and stolen car keys, remained clueless. Jack quickly exited the restaurant, pressed the car keys, and effortlessly pocketed an $8 million luxury car. Following this, Jack promptly called a luxury hotel, posing as the wealthy man's assistant. Using the rich man's credit card, he booked a lavish suite for himself. Once Jack secured a house and a car, he swiftly targeted his next Sam. He had Alan follow a wealthy woman into a high-end restaurant. When no one was around, Alan strategically placed a doctored newspaper on the newsstand. He then sat her day next to the wealthy woman, struck up a conversation, and claimed that his friend had made a fortune through stock trading, with major media outlets starting to report on his success. Later, Alan asked the waiter to bring him today's newspaper. Although the wealthy woman was shocked, she wasn't fully convinced by this small stunt. Alan anticipated her concerns, as he knew she would investigate Jack's background online once she returned home. As oh, after returning to the hotel, he quickly hacked into TikTok's backhand and put Jack, the investment expert, on the trending list. As expected, the wealthy woman was stunned upon seeing it and hurried to attend a gathering at Alan's residence. Alan took advantage of the situation to introduce Jack to the wealthy woman. After the party, she straightforwardly expressed her interest in Jack as an investment genius and decided to invest a billion as a trial. However, there was a condition. Jack had to invest a billion too for her to trust him with the money. Forced to play along to scam the wealthy woman, Jack reluctantly agreed. Later in the evening, Alan and Jack rolled up the newspaper and placed a real banknote on it, creating a makeshift bundle of cash using just $8,000 to represent a billion. Once the funds were ready, Alan discreetly approached the stock company. Taking advantage of the staff's distraction, he threw a bunch of used tissues into the trash and lit them with a match. As the flames surged from the trash can, drawing everyone's attention, Alan disguised himself as a maintenance worker and slipped into the office. Claiming that there was a fire downstairs and they needed to check if the wiring was damaged, Alan pulled out a Trojan horse software, infiltrating the computers used for stock trading. After succeeding, Alan used a master key to unlock the CEO's office. Using the CEO's dedicated phone, Alan called the front desk, claiming that news of the fire had reached the safety bureau, and inspectors would arrive soon. Meanwhile, Jack, disguised as a safety bureau official, infiltrated the stock company. Once Jack entered the office, Alan informed him that the computer in front of him would sync with the company's computers, and the projector behind would display stock trends with a one-minute delay. Jack's role was to act convincingly and gain the wealthy woman's trust. Alan then went downstairs, pretending to be the new manager, praising the security team for their quick response to the fire. He sent security officer Bao to the HR department to collect his reward. While Bao was getting cash, the wealthy woman entered the company. Taking advantage of the situation, Alan openly entered the company with the wealthy woman. Once inside the office, Alan pretended to have an urgent need to use a restroom, continuously calling Jack. Meanwhile, Jack, pretending to have received insider information, directed the staff to immediately sell Tesla stocks, causing a sharp drop in their value. Subsequently, Jack instructed them to repurchase Tesla stocks, resulting in a significant surge. Witnessing Jack's skillful manipulation, the wealthy woman was left dumbfounded. She didn't expect the person behind the Tesla price manipulation was Jack. On the spot, she decided to add another billion to her investment and instructed her assistant to quickly withdraw the money from the bank. The assistant pretended to have lost something and quietly took Jack's cash. Once successful, the assistant feigned the need to use the restroom and swiftly joined the team for a rapid evacuation from the scene. At that moment, Jack and Alan also noticed something was amiss and quickly went to inspect the cash brought by the wealthy woman. To their surprise, upon opening it, they found that it was also made entirely of newspaper. On the other side, when the wealthy woman returned home and checked the cash, she too discovered it was nothing but paper. Just as she was left baffled, three burly men suddenly barged in. It turned out that a few days ago, Mary had swindled $10 million from Peter, and now they had come to make Mary pay. Meanwhile, Jack and the tough guy also located Mary. After confirming that she was the one who deceived them, Jack instructed Alan to take them away. Peter, upon hearing this, became furious and confronted them. But Alan smoothly pulled out a gun, aiming it at the two. Peter, shocked, quickly left with his henchmen. 
Once Peter was gone, Mary and her accomplice suddenly stood up. It turns out that just before checking Mary and her partner, Ellen discreetly handed each of them a blood pack. Then, during the gunfire, Jack pressed a remote control, creating the illusion that Mary and her partner had been fatally shot. Following this, Jack approached the two, questioning their identities. It turned out that Mary and her partner were commissioned by the tough guy to specifically scam Ellen, the wealthy man. Jack, upon learning this, revealed that he was also hired by the tough guy to scam Mary. The four of them then confronted the tough guy to inquire about the situation. It turned out that the tough guy wanted Mary and her partner to join their team, and this entire scam was actually a test. Clearly, Mary and her partner successfully joined Jack's team, giving birth to a new top-tier scamming squad. The question remains, who will be their next target?